All right, Shalom, or praise to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Basham, Rakar, Kadash. Double honesty, the apostles at Great Millstone. Um, so I'm going to go into some scriptures, but I'm going to talk about uh, the, the chariots. And, you know, we all seen the uh, chariot that was over the Mexico, or the two chariots, you know, and... Um, the Lord said he's going to come in clouds and, you know, pretty much, man, the Lord's getting ready to deliver the elect. It's going to be a magnificent event, you know, the greatest event of of all, the return of who the world, the one the world's called Jesus Christ, which is re real name's Yahweh Shai. And he looks like he's a so-called black man, if you will. And he's from the tribe of Judah, which is Yahweh in the Hebrew which that means thank the Most High. He's coming to this planet Earth to invade this planet. And the elites, the powers that be, okay, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Esau, Edoms, they know this. And all you people on the planet that have, that you're just being wicked, well, what do you think is going to happen when the Lord comes? You're going to be judged and you're going to be destroyed by the Lord himself, man. I mean that that's terrifying, bro. That's 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 just something. That's somewhere you don't want to be. You don't to be killed and taken out by the Lord Himself. Now, when the Lord comes, He's coming in what? He's gonna come in a gigantic uh, chariot, or you know, a super a UFO, or, or um, which that's Esau's word, by the way, UFO, which means unidentified flying object. So when you go into the scriptures, they're clearly identified. You see, the Bible's about the mysteries. There's mysteries in this book. And the, uh, what does it say in them? And you know, matter of fact, let me, I've read this. I like reading the scripture a lot, man. Matter of fact, let me read the scripture quickly. The book of Amos. Three and what? And seven. It says, surely the Lord, Yahweh. Okay, because that's the name of the Lord. Would do nothing. But he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So when you read the scriptures, the Bible says, well, the heathens are dismayed and the Lord's revealed his secrets unto us, man. I mean, when you go into the scriptures, you had Elijah, you had Elisha, right? And pretty much uh, Elijah, right, if I'm not mistaken, it was Elijah that was, um, but uh, he got beamed up into a, a so-called UFO, into the Lord's ship. See, the Lord... You know what, let me get this scripture, man. Um, the chariots of the Lord, if I remember what it is. Uh, I don't know if I'm even um, getting this right yet. But there's a particular scripture I'm thinking of. Oh, this is it. Now, you, you people have got to explain what this is. This is Psalm 68 and 17. So this is this proves UFOs, what they call UFOs, which you can call them the, sh the ships, the chariots, you know. Psalm 68 and 17. The chariots of, of, of the Most High, Yahweh, are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. So that how does the Lord, when the Lord deals, like when the Lord, you know, when the Lord was dealing with the children of Israel back in Egypt, the Lord was in what the chariot in the chariots, and it says even thousands of angels. So the angels uh, in these ships. That so, I mean, you got this um, nugget face dude talking about the, there's no the UFOs. Well, what what are the chariots of the Lord then, mate? What what's that? Cause it damn sure ain't no horse and cart, mate. No no Pegasus. See, see, the simple scriptures just destroys. Somebody, I mean, you got people. Some of these people are maniacs, mate. Now, I'm gonna go back to that, but let me go back to this. So, when you check it out, you find out that there's people all over the world seeing so-called UFOs. Over down there in South America, 
They're always seeing them. Now, you saw push things like this in his media. Like, for example, the Predators, the Predators, that movie, The Predators, that represents the angels. And they, and what did it go around in? It's UFOs, man. And there's one Predators movie where they went down to South America, bro, and was dealing with them Latin tribes down there. And that's in the scriptures because Yahweh Shai went and dealt with the Latin tribes, which I'll do a video, I'll do a video on that. Okay. And we'll go into the proof that Lord willing that would be my next video. Now going back into this. I have to find a clip and all that, but going back into this, the chariots of the Lord is a glory is that's part of the Lord's that's you know the Lord that's another part of his glory. And it's going to be glorious when we get delivered into those ships. And that's and that's what that's the that's the greatest event to come. The deliverance of the children of Israel into these ships. Now let me so let me finish this. It says Psalm 68, 17, the chariots of the Most High, 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. So so who's in the, in the ships? Not no big-headed uh, gray, gray men. No, that's Esau's BS. The, the, who's in the ships? The, the angels. The angels, man, of the Lord. There, that's it. Let me go back. Didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to find the scripture here. Bear with me. Because <clears throat> I haven't, these scriptures are more just going off the top of the dome. So I haven't lined them up. Sometimes you might forget where something is. <coughs> Actually, I think I know it is. It's first Thessalonians. Um, so, anyway, um, like I'm saying, so this is it here. First Thessalonians four. Uh, I'll start from fourteen. If we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again, which he did, you know, because you know, a lot. This world is filled with different religions and different, and you know, and different print and um, different forms of worship and all that. But the people don't know what the hell they're worshiping. Okay. Like you got people into Buddha. There ain't no you know, them Buddhas, statues and all that, and you got, you know, people into Hinduism and then you got you know, you got and then you got Esau running around holding the scriptures claiming that he he's the people of the book. You ain't the people of the book. The people of the book are the so called Negroes, West Indians, Native Americans, Puerto Ricans. The the people that went into captivity, man. It says, for if we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahweh Shai will bring will God bring with him. It says, For this Okay, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord. And by the way, when the chariots come, the men that died in Yahweh Shai, they're gonna be with Yahweh Shai, man. Like King David, you know, King Masha, you know, the men of the Lord that died in the faith, you know. You know that that's what we believe in. Abba Bivens, uh, um, High Priest Iquab, Azia Iquab. You know, the men that was before. You know, it says, "For this we send to you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep." And we're waiting for that great deliverance, man. That's what you see in all these UFOs. All over the world, all over the place, and there's going to be more, man. You see, that was a magnificent sighting, that giant chariot. You know, it says for the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the of God. So, um, there's actually going to be a, a, a shout in the heaven, man. It's going to be the trumpet and the and a great shout, you know, and that that's gonna be an amazing day, bro. Cause, th I mean, we were, we were brought over the world, scattered. He says we let we get in this day in our captivity, where we're and we're scattered all over the planet. So a giant chariot, 
is going to come in and, and, and beam us up and all that. But it says um, that you're going to hear the voice of the archangel with the trump of the most. So you're going to hear a great shout. And that's going to be a glorious day, bro. That's going to that's out of this world stuff. Now, Esau knows that because he's got all these programs, you know, where he's, he's all, look, this article here, why should we take UFO science seriously? And I could go and read it. You know, but he's seeing these things on his on his satellites. You know, he saw seeing these uh, different chariots. You know, because he's got his he's recording the heavens, bro. So you know, there's some there's some wild clips with fleets of UFOs. There was a fleet of UFO video over the White House. You know, and 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 it's a terror onto Esau because Esau is not. Esau rules this planet right now, but he's not the god of everything. See, a lot of you people look at Esau like he he's the Most High himself. No, the mo the Most High gave this this monkey boy, he's Esau Edom some technology. Okay, and um, you know gave him his power. Matter of fact, that's in the scriptures. Let me come back to that. So you know, I said let me go in the spirit because then you. You see what scriptures come out, and you can go in the spirit like that. I like to do it like that, you know. You know, kind of test your sharpness to see where you're at with this. Um, bear with me. It's not that it's Daniel's two, or oh, it's gonna be. Bear with me right there, mate. Uh, one second. Um. Actually, let me search for it. Well the, well, the scripture says the Lord rules in the kingdom of men. So I'm just trying to find out if I can. Um, right there, let me see. Um, are you going to come off, mate? Um, right, so the Lord rules in the kingdom of men. Sorry for that pause. Uh, the Lord rules in the kingdom of men. And, um, you know, he pretty much sets up whoever he wants to rule. Here it is here, Daniel four seventeen. So I obviously went past it. It says this is matter this is the this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the int to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. So the most high controls who's in power, who's at the bottom. That's why you tribes, you the reason why you're in ghettos and you so called Negroes are still in Puerto Ricans and all that. And even the the fact that you split is because the Lord did that. Now, through this word, the Lord's bringing us all back together. The kingdom of Judah and Ephraim, the northern and the southern kingdom, we're coming back together. And um, the Lord's doing that using this what this word, which is a beautiful thing, bro. You know? Because we're the same people, which is fucking evident. For, I mean, whoever doesn't know that, all you... Oh, um, you... You like you pro black Israelites that are trying to disobey this and all the northern kingdom. You're full of shit, and we was all together at one point anyway. You just don't know what the hell you're talking about. Like you take a dude like Fat Joe, I'll just use him as an example. You, obviously, that dude is that dude's just a light skinned Negro man. Okay. To the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. And give it it to whosoever he will, and set set up over it the basis of men. So the the Lord's behind Esau's them ruling. And when you check it out, um, Esau he's got all this technology, satellites and stuff, and he he's got why why has he got a Star Wars program and what I think it's a sixth branch of the military. Which is uh, the, the the space military, the space force. 
Why is that? Because there's going to be a great invasion of the planets. And 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 what invasion is that? The Lord, man. The Lord ain't coming. The the Lord ain't coming looking like Caesar, looking like Serapis Cryptus, looking like a hippie with flowers in his hand, and everyone's gonna what? No, the Lord's coming as a as a super force in the ships to zap this world, and and that's in the Bible, man. You people talking about the scriptures, but you love the this world, this present, this current evil fucking system, but you you talk, but you but you got the Bible in your hand. It's a joke. Now let me, you know, let me pull out some. It's making me think about some scriptures right after that. Yeah, well, let me just get this one. This is right on the point. Revelations one and seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, which that proves reincarnation. Because how are the people that pierced him gonna see him if they're not? If they, they obviously they weren't. There's no dudes walking around. 2,000 years old, the people that pierced him when he was on the cross died and they came back. Because reincarnation is in the scriptures, man. You, your spirit don't die. You come back on the earth. The earth is going always here. Earth is going to be always here. And when you die, you go to the spirit world and you come back in your third or fourth generation according to the book of um, Exodus. Anyway, it says, And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so am one. Now, if you don't understand reincarnation, I mean, what do you people understand anyway? You, you know, you know, the Lord set brothers up at Great Millstone to teach you knuckleheads, because we all got taught, we all got taught, but a lot of you individuals, you're not, you're not listening to the the the, the, the call of the Lord. You, you you're on your own path. You're on your own mad madness. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. So what behold he comes with clouds. And the clouds represent the chariots. Because he's not actually going to come with puffs of smoke. And we just read in Thessalonians. There's going to be a great deliverance. The tribes, the elect. Of the 12,000 from each of these tribes. Are going to be what? Beamed up and going to be caught up in the, in the air with the Lord. That's when you get beamed up into them spaceships. You know I think they call it the tractor beam. And you know it beams you up. And if people are going to see that it's only so-called Negroes, West Indians, Puerto Ricans, Native Americans, they're the only ones that are getting beamed up. So what's that going to do to people, man? That's going to mess people up, man. Now Esau, he's on his last legs. Now the super elite load, know this. Let me get, there's a few, there's a lot of scriptures, chariot scriptures buzzing around. But I'm just going in the spirit, whatever. Just, you know, I'm just going to go in the spirit. Now, Revelation 12 is a good chapter. Now, let me... Let me get... Let me go here. It says, Revelation 12 and 12, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know that ye have but a short time. And that's the time of rulership of the this, of this system, the beast system. Who's in power? The beast system. The king, the Bible talks about the kings of the earth are going to fight the Lord. Revelations 19, which I could read the whole chapter, but I'm going to go to the point because this, this is a very serious chapter, mate. Serious stuff, mate. So Revelations 19 and then 16. And he had on his vesture and on his fire a name written, King of Kings and Lords of Lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. And he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great power, that ye may eat the flesh of kings, that ye may eat the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of men, both free and bond, both small and great, because we're in a time of war. But this is the point I want to get because we got in the time of World War Three, Russia, China, you know all that, America, you know Iran. He's gonna have a third world war in the time of nuclear missiles, nuclear proliferation. While this is going on, the Lord's gonna come down and, and and invade and zap and and take over the planet, man, and grab up the elites. Revelation nineteen nineteen, and I saw the beast and the kings of the earth. So what's the beast? That's the system. 
Okay, okay, NATO and the EU. Because you remember when you go to the book of Daniels, the kingdoms were referred to as beasts. You ain't actually talking about fucking beat like like these fat, wacky tacky Christians want you to believe. You know, all these these you know, mythological like things in the sky with you know, some beasts and the devil with horns coming in out of the clouds. The scriptures don't say that. This is what the scripture says. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies. The beast is the system. The kings of the earth. Who are the kings of the earth? You rulers. You know, like you got, like you'll have Trump. Trump can be considered the king of Babylon, the king of America. You got Putin, king of Russia. You know, you got these different leaders. And then you obviously got the Rothschilds, Rockefellers behind all that. But that's what it means by the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse. And that horse, that's talking about Yahweh Shai coming in the chariots. Because when you read up early, he tells you that the man came from from the heaven, from the spirit world, right? And these on these horse, white horses, which they represent the chariots. Because you know, it's symbolic of a chariot because horse represents power. When you sit on a horse, that represents power. It says, and against his army. So who's the, who's, when the Lord comes, he's coming with a, a great army. It's, so when he saw sees these ships, when he saw sees these spaceships, people don't like that word spaceship. When people, are, well, you know, whatever, man. When people, when people see these chariots, the so-called UFOs, People are messed up, man. These giant ships. And when the Lord's going to come in the ship, when Ezra's seen the Lord in a vision in the ship, guess what? You know, over the Lord made him see it. It was a giant, he said it was a giant mountain. Because, you know, men of the Lord, the, made, the Lord made him see these things, the future and all of that, man, if you will. And he's seen a giant ch chariot, man, a giant ship a giant ufo that could be half the size of the planet or this you know something like that man now esau has seen these things on his satellites nasa satellites and um you know he's he's getting messed up in the spirit man because the, look at the um, YouTube shutdown that the apostles brought out that the YouTube shutdown happened because NASA was filming the, with chariots those chariots going to the moon <laughs> you know there was so called UFOs going to the moon and they cut they cut it man see because they got this they got the live live feed feed um, feed or live stream that films the the you know, out in out there in space, and there's been a, there's been a lot of times when, <laughs> you know, you watch uh, Secure Team Ten or one of them, and there's been videos where they've had, they've cut feeds, but this time they shut the whole of YouTube down. So Esau's getting scared, you know, the elites, Rough Charles Rockefellers, because they know that the Space Force is coming to take them out to jack them up, man. Now Esau, like you got Israelites that want to take up arms. You ain't going to take up no arms, mate. The Lord's coming himself because Esau's got this technology. He's got his armies. You ain't. The man's built up, man. And anyway, this planet Earth has to get judged and the rightful ruler is going to come down on, on the planet. So we're going to see, we're in a beautiful time. People are going to see the the, the, the Lord, man. People are gonna see Yahweh Shai and the angels. You know, this is the this is the time. This is the end. You know, what manner of person you ought to be in, man. You're supposed to be thinking on these prophecies, man. This is a beautiful thing that the Lord's actually gonna come. You know, the you know the gods, if you will. <laughs> you know, and 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 and, and take take over the earth, which is rightfully the Lord's Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Basham Kadash. And when we say them names, Yahweh, we say the name Yahweh Shai, they're important, they're serious names, man. That's the name of the Lord right there. 
that's the name of the heavenly father himself you know and you got you got you got cats out there that don't want to take that they don't even want to take that serious maniacs now there was a whole bunch of scriptures I could have brought brought out Let me finish this. Revelation 19 and 20. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrote miracles before him. Because you got that Roman Catholic Church, man, which um, they're a bunch of witches, man, casting spells on the people. They're, they're the heads of that false religions, you know. It says, in which, in which he had he deceived them that received the mark of the beast, the RFID chip system, because you got, I think, the, I think you've got a term called the Venus Project. But you got different names for this new world order and um Esau is really trying to that dystopian futuristic movie stuff that you watch Esau's really is is that is is they just come out with a news article about CNN saying um pretty much um will you will you get chipped straight there on CNN you know it's, it's some real robotic gridlocked Super cities, some chipped cities where there's no cash. Everybody's just, just chipped in. That's that's what that's what that's what they're trying to sell. And anybody that takes the mark of the beast, what's, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be burnt. And it says, and them that worship his image, these both were cast alive into a lake of fire, burning with brim, brimstone. So, um, you know, there's going to be. A lot of fire happening on the earth now. I was going to read the scripture in Isaiah 24 about the earth um, shaking through the mega destruction that's going to happen because not only are you going to have the nuclear missiles, which that is that is really the, the weapons of the Lord's indignation, which Esau is going to blast his own kingdom out because this dude's just fucking fucked up in the head, you know. That's why this man needs to get put taken out, man. This man just doesn't... He'll he destroy the earth. Planet Earth is destroyed under Esau and he doesn't care about the earth. But um, the Lord's coming back in them giant ships, you know, and, um, you know, what, what, what's gonna, what are them ships going to do? Beam up the elect. We're going to be caught up in the clouds with Yahweh Shai. All the, all the Israelites of the elect are going to be men, women, and children, you know, because you're going to have women that are going to be saved. You're going to have children that are going to be saved. And we're going to be there together with the Lord now. I mean, wouldn't you want that, you know? So that's how you got to take this truth seriously. Now, let me see if there's anything in this. Uh, are we alone? Unfortunately, neither one of the answers feels satisfactory to be alone in this vast universe is a, lo is a lonely prospect. On the other hand, if we are not alone and there is someone or something more powerful out there, that too is terrifying. <laughs> yeah, because the heathens are dismayed at the signs of heaven. See, Esau doesn't believe in the most high. Esau's just fucked up in the head, mate. And these people, people are scared. These people are going to get scared, man. The, the people are getting scared. Like if a giant chariot just comes in the middle of the day in a city, people are going to bug out, you know. People, th these things have happened and people are all messed up in the spirit because chariot, you know, fleet, you know, be in the sky and all around. The world. There's been, it's happened in major cities and people bug out. As a NASA research scientist and now professor of physics, I attended a 2002 NASA contact conference which focused on some serious speculation about extraterrestrials. During the meeting, a concerned participant said loudly in a sinister, stone, <laughs> sinister tone, you have absolutely no idea what is out there. <laughs> oh man, this is beautiful, man. The silence was uh, pal uh, plorable. Palable, pal, uh, pal, I can't even say that word, mate. All right, forgive me on that. <laughs> As the truth of this statement sunk in, humans are fearful of extraterrestrials visiting Earth. Perhaps fortunately, the distance between the stars are prohibitively fast. At least this is what we novices were just learning to travel into space 
tells us. So, you know, people are messed up, man. And this is the greatest time to be alive. <laughs> I can't remember who said that, man. But, um, you know, uh, you know, we're in that time, bro. So I ain't even going to read all this, but this is a, I might do another video on this, might not. You know, sometimes you don't really want to read the whole articles, but you can sit there and read it in your own own time. Beautiful article as it looks. And um, that, that's where I'm going to leave it there, man. We're in that time, brothers. So, man, this is beautiful, man. The Lord's going to destroy Babylon, which Babylon is America. The house of you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Puerto Ricans, captivity. Point blank, man. So with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.